The Mayo Clinic says autism is a neurological disorder that impairs a child's ability to communicate and interact with others. Now, a recent partnership between Gateway Community College and First Place has helped Phoenix become the most autism-friendly city in the world. First Place is a residence for adults with autism where they learn and live more independently. 22-year-old Stuart Kemp moved out of his parents' home into First Place. It was a big step. So it was exciting at first, and then it was kind of nervous at, at, like the, at the middle, and then at the end, I got used to it. Kemp says making new friends helped him overcome his nervousness about moving to first place. Gateway Community College provides the academic setting for adults with autism to learn life skills. The curriculum consists of self-sustainability courses. How to take care of yourself, how to manage your money, how to manage your time, how to live with other people. We've learned transportation skills, cleaning, cooking. We also went to the Tempe Marketplace. There are 36 semester-long courses at the Transition Academy, which are taught on the Gateway campus. For example, uh, in personal finance, you know, they're gonna review things like budgeting, wants versus needs. The curriculum originated with First Place, and Gateway adopted it and integrated it with student services at the college. This provides an opportunity to practice real-world skills. So they have to go through registration and admissions. They can access the cafeteria, the library, the different social groups on campus. So it's a, it's a true inclusive opportunity. Then when the students graduate from the program in two years, given that they've lived at a residential setting, they are working in paid student employment, and they are prepared then to go off and to live independently. Some of these students have been employed on our campus, which is something that we never even thought to be possible from the onset. So that, that exceeded our expectations. Medical research reveals that autism affects boys much more than girls. However, there will soon be four new female students joining the residence. We want them to experience the, the sort of realities that they're going to face when they're out living on their own or in their workplace. They'll be surrounded by women, so we want them to, you know, to understand how that works as well. Learning social skills and interpersonal relationships, from dating and sexuality to basic communication, are covered. Learning to use public transportation to having their first job, having their first girlfriend, those are major quality of life things. It just touches you when you when you when you see the students in the air and they go down the hallway and they wave at you and they remember your name. I would like to find more jobs for them on campus. Maybe go from a non-credit based classes to credit based classes so they could continue on and have a fruitful life. Kemp aspires to become a public speaker to raise awareness of autism. Autism is a uh, it's something that you have to deal with for the rest of your life, but I think that. It's, um, it's one of those things where you have to step back and look like towards the future and say, hey, it, it's, it's going to be okay. We're able to provide that opportunity, first of all, so that they learn how to live independently, so they can enter the employment market, so then they can be happy, successful, and well-developed adults. We have once again found a way as a community college provide an educational setting to provide an education for someone who may not have had that opportunity elsewhere. For more information, please visit gatewaycc.edu. I'm Deanne Kincaid for Maricopa Now.